the sixth race, second elimination of the 2001 Breeders' Crown. Three-year-old trotting fillies. They're off and trotting, and a great start for fun and strokes at the inside. Casamarina is leaving. There's Coots Paradise showing up early to the extreme outside. True Diva trots into the top four. Siring Hanover, heavily post-time favored, leaves in fifth position. A.B. Hanover moving well. Sixth along the inside to the flank of a girl named Sugar to the outside from seventh. Victory My Way is second to last, and Lindsay Fiery Image was ninth away. Coots Paradise, True Diva is parked. Casamarina is in pocket position. Fun and strokes sitting on the inside from fourth. Sirings Hanover is fifth. A.V. Hanover sixth. The girl named Sugar still parked. Second to last victory my way in Lindsay Fiery Image. The opening quarter was 26 and 4. Coots Paradise into the uh, back stretch after 3 eighths completion. True Diva trots up to take over, pulling out from fourth. And moving up on the leaders goes fun and strokes. Casimarina taking a bit of a shuffle. She's now fourth on the inside. Sirings Hanover starts her move to the outside from fifth. A.V. Hanover sixth outside. Victory my way saving ground from seventh. Lindsay Fiery Image is eighth, and a girl named Sugar now trailing. 56 and 2 was the half, and it's fun and strokes becoming the new leader. Cy Rinks Hanover caught uncovered. Three eighths of the mile to go. True Diva is hard spent back along the inside. Third, A.B. Hanover up into contention on the outside, right there with the leaders from fourth. And on the outside, fifth comes Lindsay Fiery Image on that final turn. Coots Paradise losing positions is back in six. Casamarina got out from seventh. Victory My Way is eighth. The girl named Sugar is ninth. They turn for home, and Fun and Strokes is the leader by a length and a quarter. Syrinx Hanover threatening. A.V. Hanover right there with the leaders on the outside third. 126 and 2, three-quarter time, and Syrinx Hanover, with no exertion or urging from Campbell, trots away to win her three-year-old Breeders' Crown elimination and remain undefeated this year. Syrinx Hanover is a two-length winner impressively. Fun and Strokes stayed for second. Casamarina third. A.V. Hanover was fourth. True Diva fifth. Cyrinx Hanover sets the track and Breeders' Crown record by a full second, 154 and 4. Number two, Cyrinx Hanover. The sixth race win from Minx Hanover, owned by the Need to Know Stables of South Plainfield, New Jersey, trainer Chris Marino. John Kemble for the winning drive. Nine for nine this year. And looking to become a repeat winner in the Breeders' Crown Series. She won as a two-year-old at Mohawk last fall. And Cyrinx Hanover has set the Woodbine track record and Breeders' Crown 5 8 mile track record in 154 and 4. John Campbell adds another uh, record to his list of achievements here tonight, a Breeders' Crown and track record with Cyrinx Hanover, as uh, she adds uh, more records as well. Uh, John, the filly I don't think has ever looked better. Would you agree? I think she was as strong tonight as she's been all year. She was, uh, you know, well within herself. She was parked, uh, you know, a good deal of the mile and lost her cover early. And, and she just, uh, when I got to the head of stretch, she just uh, trotted home very strong. Uh, let's just talk about uh, her. Um, let's compare her to maybe some of the, the greats you've driven over the years. Uh, what makes her so good? Well, I think any horse at this level, when they uh, succeed at this level, they have to have it all. I mean, she's got a great gait. She's got high speed. She's got manners. And, uh, and she's got endurance. I mean, there's, uh, when she's on her game, she just doesn't seem to have a weakness. And let's talk, uh, let's look ahead to next week. Uh, you'll take two undefeated horses into the finals. Uh, you have to be looking forward to that. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, I just hope that they you know, can stay healthy and, and be as good as they've been, and I think they'll give a good account of themselves. I mean, there's, there's a lot to, to go into that, and, and unfortunately, if they, either one of them loses, they're going to end up uh, their, their season disappointing, and that's going to be unfortunate. But, uh, you know, off of this week in eliminations, I I'm, I'm feel very confident with both of them. Okay, John, uh, best of luck. Still some work uh, left to do here this evening. Okay, thank you very much, Greg. John Campbell, Cyrinx Hanover, they remain perfect together this season, scoring there in track and a Breeders' Crown record.